Hello again, everyone, and welcome back to Dragon Age 2. We're back here in Kirkwall in High Sound, and uh, we need to go and look for some more questing to do after we uh, we got our reward from the magistrate in the last episode, although it didn't end quite the way I'd hoped. Um, because when I said that secret won't last, I was like, oh, I, I, I was like, I'm going to tell someone about that secret, but no, apparently not. Right, so we have um, where would so ah yes. We can go and see if we can find um, find the, uh, the 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 boy that 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 that, that went missing, um, the elven boy I think it was. I believe there's someone here in, in the docks who will uh, who is known for hiding um, for, for well for a la for uh, getting apostates out. Isn't, isn't that right? Ship captains. Bugger off. Lovely. Good to see that. Good to see that, that they haven't changed. What is this uh, quest again? Actually, wayward son. Rainer may, may know where Fenrir is. You've been away on the docks tonight. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Someone at the door. Whoa. Why am I getting attacked exactly? I'm not really certain why I'm getting attacked, but I mean, I suppose someone wa wandering into a private dock isn't isn't the best thing to be doing. But there's no need to just to just go attacking me straight off the bat, surely? Barracks taking a bit of a battering. Better go and divert some of the attention off of him. There we go. We're good. We're good. Now that's just rude. What are they trying to do? Ruin my boots. Oh no, I remember this actually. Fainreal was went to the guy who um, was known for uh, help, helping like apostates and such out the. Uh, out of the city, but he didn't have any money, so he was. He, I, th I think he was going to try and smuggle away, wasn't he? I think. Uh, Varric, if you could that. do that work, yes, thank you. Anybody in this room, probably. No, okay. It's quite surprising. But no, my look, this this room will be f filled with like five guys, and I and I don't mean the burgers either. Right, so let's go and see, um... Ray is, is it Rainier, how it's pronounced? Nothing over here? No. Okay. What about in here? Oh, crit. Opal fragment. Nice. Get a hold of her! Please, help me. Anyone? What the hell's Get happening the here? I heard they can't do no spells without hands. What the hell is she? Oh! No, nothing of magic. Oh God! Oh j! Oh my lord! What the hell has happened here? What the hell have you guys been doing? The Codex update. We arrived in the dead of night. We have been tracking the, the, the Malificar for days and finally had him cornered, or so we thought. As we approached, a home on the edge of the town exploded, sending splinters of wood and, and fist-sized fist chunks of rocks into our ranks. We had but moments to regroup before fire rained from the sky, the sounds of destruction wrapped in a hideous, in, in a hideous laughter from the center of the village. There, perched atop the spire of the village chantry, stood the mage, but he was human no longer. We shouted the prayers to the maker and deflected what magic we could, but as we fought, the creature fought harder. I saw my comrades fall, but burned by the flaming sky or, or crushed by debris. The monstrous creature, looking as if a demon were wearing a man-like a twisted suit of skin, 
spotted me and grinned. We had forced into the, to this, I realized. The Major made this pact, giving himself over, over to the demon to survive our assault. Bloody hell. It is known that mages are able to walk the fade while completely aware of their surroundings, unlike most others who may only enter the realm as dreamers and leave it scarcely aware of their experience. Demons are drawn to, the, drawn to mages, though, whether it is because of their, this awareness or simply by virtue of their magical power in our world is unknown. Regardless of the reason, the demon always attempts to possess a mage when it, when it's in, it, it encounters one, by force or by making some kind of deal depending on the strength of the mage. Should the demon get the, get the upper hand, the result is an unholy union known as an abomination. Abominations have been responsible for some of the worst cataclysms in history, and the notion that some mage in a remote tower could turn into such a creature unbeknownst to any was the driving force behind the creation of the Circle of Magi. Thankfully, abominations are rare. The Circle has methods for weeding out those who, would, who are too at risk for, for demonic possession, and scant few mages would give up their free will to submit to such a bond with a demon. But once an abomination is created, it will do its best to create more. Considering that entire squads of Templars have been known to fall at the hands of a single abomination, it is not surprising that the Chantry takes the business of the Circle of Magi very serious indeed. Oh, there's Captain uh, Rayner. Looks like he's been dealing in some uh, rather un unholy things here. Skeletons as well? There's been a freaking invasion downstairs of skeletons and corpses. What the hell's happened? Yeah, we can try, because whoever it was, obviously, th oh, Thrask's letter. Father, I, I know the sacrifices you made to conceal my secret, but I am a child no longer. I cannot burden you my whole life, lest my secret destroy us both. I must live my own life uh, as a woman and as a, ma as, as a mage. It is oddly freeing to write the word. Farewell, Father. I hope one day you make peace between what you have been taught and what you have seen. All my love, Olivia. Oh, so she, she 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 tried to live freely as a mage, but unfortunately she couldn't. Um, blood letter. That's quite nice. What, what kind of weapon's that? Oh, it's a dagger. Okay. Messy kills. Oh, nice. Uh, yeah, she tried to live freely as a mage, but obviously couldn't live with the magic. Oh, is that another trap? Well, Varric, if you would. Thank you. Alright, what's in this chest then? Hideout location map. Captain Rainer's, Rainer's accounts. Two barrels of fish, Viscount's keep, three barrels of rum, hanged man, one male human mage, Danzig in the Undercity, and 25 Riveni furs, Helton's clothiers. So, looks like the human mage is in Danzig. Um, Fainreal. I, I, I thought Fainriel was was an elf. Unless that was the, ah, unless that mage there was the one who was who was going to be going to to to, to this Phasia person or whatever his name was. Is that right? Danzig. What? Where did I get the, the, the word Phasia from? Am I... Am I going completely insane? I don't know where I've gotten the word Phasia from, but yes. I thought Danzig may have been a location, but no, he's an actual person in 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 um, in I think I think I think it's Darktown. We've also gone the wrong way here. We need to go out of the docks. Okay. Uh, Wayward Sun. Yeah, let's go to Darktown. Don't play cards when the canary. Don't play against elves. Don't play against dwarfs. 
So basically, you're only play you're only, you're only playing with humans. Anybody else? Not a good idea. Apologize for the yawning. Very uh, very tired today. All right, let's go and have a word, a word with this Danzig person then. Why, look here, boys. Volunteers. Clap him in irons and let's see what the Tavintas will pay for. Uh, you're doing no such thing. I just want to. I just want to talk. Answer my questions, and I won't trouble you about this little operation. You die now, there won't be any trouble at all. Shut this buck up. Is he cosplaying as like Genghis Khan or something like that? Like, what, what, what's his, what's his deal? Whatever his deal is, he's he's at one hundred percent going to die. Freaking slave is pouring out the uh, pouring out the woodwork here. I'm always there's a mage. Seriously, when do slavers honestly manage to get their hands on mages? It's horrible. We, are we done? No, there's still more. Now we should be done, right? There's got to be something here that shows where he shipped Fainrail. Sure there will be some little manifesto somewhere. Uh, uh, uh Fred Slaver Whip. Jesus Christ, these guys. Slavery is a fucking disgusting thing, like it, it's bad enough when 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 law game was advocating it, but I, I didn't realize it was all the way over here in Kirkwall as well. But then again, this is much less uh, civilized of an area than um, Relden is. So, what's that ring like? Uh, plus three for no, it's not not very good. Danzig, maps the wounded coast. Of course, he's on the wounded coast. Okay, let's let's go uh, let's go and uh, let's go and free him then. Jesus. This guy keeps on getting shipped from place to place. I'm right in saying that, 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 that the woman who asked me to find this person was an elf, right, though? Because that said a, because that said a human mage was going to Danzig, but... Yeah, I don't know, to be honest. Either way, wounded coast. I'm guessing that, that the, the, the male mage w was Olivia who, who we had to kill. And we've we've inferred where Fainrail has gone to, based on the fact that um, that he was sending people over there. So we thought, oh well, obviously he must have sent Fainrail over there as well. It makes sense. Now we've got to go and get Fainrail back. I don't know how how uh, happy he's going to be to want to come back because obviously he's an apostate that's on the run. But we will see. Hopefully, he's seen sense by now. Slaver caverns. Oh boy, this is going to be fun. Spells and items that revive fallen party members can turn a battle back in your favor. Don't leave fallen companions out of the fight. Uh, I. Don't think we have any items that can actually revive people because I didn't try to do that last time. Uh, no. Does that fruit potion work? No. I don't. I don't know if I don't know if Bethany has any spells like that she can waste. Francis. No. I don't believe Bethany has any has any uh, abilities that that can actually work that way. Nor do I think that actually exists in this. I'm not crazy when I say that it doesn't actually look like that spell exists. 
Am I? Unless it's a spirit thing, it shouldn't be. No? I don't know. I don't even know. See, I, I, you would have thought it, it would have been a creation spell, if anything, a revival thing, but... Uh... Eh, uh, well. <laughs> maybe maybe Bethany just just doesn't have access to it yet, I don't know. Oh, we've got Spindleweed. Sack here, broken statuettes. An unopenable door. Alright, where's these damn slavers at? Because there's bound to be a bunch. Here they are! This room's a lot bigger than, than, than what I originally thought it was. Poor Aveline takes so much flack. Like, seriously. I'm trying to I'm trying to work on the idea that Aveline goes on the assault while I kind of hang back and protect the, uh, the two ranged guys. Because I, I, I do believe sticking together in combat works quite well. Oh, the, okay. Until a mage shows up and then it's quite the opposite. Is he just going to stand there and... Yes, he is. Where'd that mage go to? That mage ain't lasting much longer, I'm afraid. I love when like one of the enemies just, just just gets surrounded by all four of us. It's uh, it's brutal but effective. Slave mage. In here, anything? Oh my god, corpse. Lovely. Heavy boots. Nice armor, but still not as good as ours. The mushrooms. Another crafting resource. Very nice. The onyx fragment. We must be able to, to make a lot of uh, potions, etc. And runes but by now. With all the, all the resources we found, you'd think. Archer. Stand the chest. Varric, if you would. Dull shiv and a helmet. What's the helmet like? 39. No, thank you. Oh, it looks like we're getting close. Another amulet. Plus diamond and stamina. That's quite good, but I don't know. Yeah, it's generally not as good as the stuff we've got, as are most things we seem to be picking up, really. Right. Hello? <laughs> I was gonna say, I was wondering why they didn't do attack us. Oh boy. Barak, help me out. Tell this dirtbag who we are. If I were you, I wouldn't be threatening the Viscount's son. What? No. <laughs> oh, I suppose you just got a tip from a slaver that he was selling mage flesh cheap. You never thought to ask where he got it? You never wondered if you were buying the Viscount's well-known love child from his elven mistress. The boy he swore to protect, even if it meant raising the entire free marches? <laughs> I seek no war with the free marches. Take the lad to his father. Fair enough. Hand him over then, if you're serious. This was the price set on the boy. Please accept it as an offer of peace. Well, thanks. Who are you? Are you working for the Templars? Your mother sent me. Huh. Hardly a difference. Wow, mother I Templars. My whole life it was all, I'll love you and protect you. Then I have some bad dreams and it's off to the Templars. 
She's right. You belong in the circle of Magi. Well, I'm not going. I was trying to get to the Dalish. They won't be afraid of my magic. Well, depending on what on what magic you're partaking, because after with Merrill, oh well, <sighs> it'd be a hard life. You'd be alone among the Dalish, even more than a Dalish would be here. Compared to being held prisoner or made tranquil, I'll risk being lonely. Look, I know it's different in other kingdoms, but here, no one helps Circle Mages. Anything the Templars don't like, you get the brand. The Dalish, they've had magic forever. They could teach me. I won't be a danger, I swear. If there is another place he can harness his gifts, I cannot blame him for wishing to go there. If there was another way, the Circle would know it. Ah. Oh. See, the, uh, I think the risk is that with all the troubles he's having, he would only get the help he needs at the Circle of Magi. Like, Bethany can, like, Bethany, for example, has kind of found a way to kind of use magic effectively and has blocked out all the negative things. But this guy doesn't seem to have been able to do it properly. And I think he's a little bit of a danger, so I'm going to ask him to go to the circle. I'm sorry, Fainriel. You'll learn to control your abilities at the circle. I cannot hope to fight you. Fine. Go and get your blood money. Tell my mother she won. But she'll be the only one I don't miss when they lock me away. Wow. Whatever their differences, his mother deserves to know he's alive. Yep. Oh, Bethany rivalry plus ten. Jesus Christ. Yeah, this it was always going to happen because obviously Bethany being a mage, etc. She was, she's not going to like, um, like it when we kind of imprison other mages like that. But it's it's for the safety of everybody, you know. It's not smart to to, to let an untrained mage like that just kind of roam freely. I don't think. Anything of interest down here? Since the slavers have ran away. Just an opal fragment, okay. Well, let's head um, out of this area then, considering, you know, it's not the nicest place to be hanging around in a cave like this. It's pretty dank, to be honest. Alchemist protective handguards. Seems quite good. But, uh, yeah, it requires 20 dexterity, so nobody can actually use them because I'm the only one who can equip arm like that. Right, anyway, as we were. Um, oh, oh my god, I'm so sorry. Why am I so tired? Right, let's, go, let's, let's leave. <coughs> Regardless. On that note, guys, I think we shall end this episode here. Thank you very much for watching. I do hope you've enjoyed. If you have, then please like, comment, subscribe, and share. And I'll catch you in the next episode of Dragon Age 2. Thanks again, guys. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.